what's going on guys i'm ryan welcome back to another video hope you guys are absolutely fantastic in this video let me show you this e-link smart camera 960p indoor security camera hope you guys like this one so sit back relax and enjoy Okay, let's have a quick look at this wireless camera, E-Link Smart 960p. This is ideal for home usage. You can watch your house anytime, anywhere. Almost 360 degrees angle, can pan and tilt. It has a, a motion sensor detector, two-way audio. You can use multiple cameras, up to four, I believe. Night vision. Footage can be saved to an SD card on the camera up to 128 gigs. And according to the manufacturer, you don't need to worry about privacy or security. It uses an encrypt data transmission system, point to point, straight to your smartphone, Android or iOS. Okay, let's have a look what's inside the box. So first thing, you have a user manual. Pause if you want to have a quick read. You need to download the app. Everything is controlled by the app eSmart Cam. It's the name of the app available for Android and iOS. Of course, we have the camera itself. Good looking camera. Let's put it to the side for now. What else do we have in the box? A power adapter. And you also have a mount if you want to put this camera on the wall or on the ceiling. Oh, there's also some screws, fittings, and a tiny screwdriver. And let's have a look finally at the camera. E-Link Smart. Body is made of plastic. Like I mentioned before, it can pan and tilt. Like so. The resolution is 1280 by 960. It supports two-way audio. It has motion detection. It will send a message to your smartphone when it detects something like that. On the back, there's a Wi Fi antenna. This camera uses 2.4 GHz Wi Fi. There's also an Ethernet port, a micro SD card slot, and a micro USB port for, uh, for the camera power. There's a tripod mount at the bottom of the camera, pretty handy, some rubber feet, and this is where you um, put your plastic thing to mount the camera on the wall or on the ceiling, like so. Okay, let's set the camera on. I wish the power cable was longer. This is around 59, 60 inches, around um, 1.5 meters, it's very short. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to download the app and I'm gonna pair my phone with the camera itself. So this is the app you need to download, it's Smart Cam, and then you need to create an account. After that, you need to add a device to the app. So you click Add Camera, you pick the model of the camera. In this case, it's the, uh, maybe this one, it's not very clear. And you'll have a QR code that you need to show it to the camera. But before that, you will need to reset the camera. This step is, it's quite annoying, but anyway, let's do it. And finally, after the reset, you need to add your home Wi-Fi password to the app. Remember, it's the 2.4 gigahertz band, just in case you have two, like myself, I have the five and the 2.4. And finally, you need to show the QR code to the camera and you should be good to go. Finally, we'll see our camera on the app. Let me just show you this. Pretty cool stuff, so you can control the pan and the tilt of the camera. 
I found the app quite a bit laggy and buggy. It could be, um, I don't know, it could be the first initial versions of the app, of course. And I also did a firmware upgrade, which is good, means the company keeps sending firmware updates to the device. The app itself has some lullabies installed and some stories that you can play through the microphone of the camera. Uh, the code is not the best, so it is what it is, but the function is there if you want to use it. You can also have a full screen view of what's going on and use the finger on the screen to tilt or pan the camera like so. Hello? And like I mentioned before, this camera has a two-way audio so you hear what's going on One, in two, your place. One, two, three. Or you can also talk back to the camera by pressing all that small microphone button. There. Hello? The camera also has motion detection. It send you. It will send you a message to your phone saying the camera pick up something and it will record some footage on the SD card. The cloud service is also available, but you need to pay for it. During the night, the camera does a good job. Alexa, turn off living room lights. So it's pitch black, I can't see anything, and the camera switch on the night vision automatically. And as you can see, it's pitch black and the camera is seeing me over there. Good stuff. If you want to save the footage or take a picture, just click that camera button there and video or photo will be saved to the SD card itself. Another cool thing is the camera has a night vision sensor and will switch on and off like, like now uh, the night vision. So now it's back to color mode, day mode, let's put it that way. And now I'm going to record some footage to show you the quality of the footage itself. Not bad, remember guys this was pitch black. I do also like the field of view, 95 degrees angle. Like I mentioned, the camera detect me and send me a notification to my phone saying something is going on. Have a look at that. And when you go to the playback, you can see all the saved videos recorded by the camera and you will be able to download it to your phone as well if you want to. During the day, the footage is good as well. It's not 1080p, it's 960p. It is what it is, small file size. I think for the price, it's a good camera. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so be notified when I upload new ones. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I can see you all in the next one.